dear students let us uh, continue uh, third module the next api which we have to study is unlink api so as link api is used to create an extra link of an existing file similarly unlink it deletes a link of an existing file it's a prototype is integer unlink const char star currently the current link is nothing but is a path name of an existing file and which need to be deleted the return value of 0 it can return some integer value either it can return 0 or minus 1 if it returns 0 means it successfully deleted the uh, new path and if it returns minus 1 means this api has not executed successfully the failure can be due to invalid link uh, why it can be unsuccessful because of invalid link name and calling process lacks access permission to remove the path name and the calling process lacks access permission or it may be the access permission for a uh, path name is not valid so next uh, api is remove api so remove api is used it removes the file or directory specified by path it removes the file or directory specified by path means it deletes the path from the unix operating system so it's a uh, prototype is integer remove const cat start path name so if path specifies a directory remove path is equivalent to rmdir remove directory path so otherwise it is equivalent to unlink path so if it is uh, if directory need to be removed if it, it specifies this path name if it specify it holds the address of a directory then it is equivalent to remove path or rmdir path or whole directory can be removed next api is rename api so rename api is used to provide another name of an old existing file so uh, it's a prototype is integer rename const cap star old name comma const care start new name so it holds the address of the old file name and uh, it provides the address of the new file name so it causes the link named old name to be renamed as new name the old name to be re to be renamed as so this old name file need to be renamed with re new name if the file new name exists it is first removed if the if the file new name exists then it is first it will be removed and old name will be renamed to new name both old name and new name must be both directories or both non directories they reside on the same file system both be both directory or both non directory reside they should be in the present in the same directory but they do not have to be on the same directory path they may not be on the same directory path also. next very important api is stat if stat and l stat api so frequently this api asks in the university exam so it these apis are used to get the information or attributes of a file and hash include sys types dot h hash include sys stat dot h integer stat const cast star path name comma struct stat star buffer 
और नेक्स्ट वन एफ इज दैट इंटीजर एफ डी स्ट्रक्ट इज दैट स्टार पॉपर एंड कॉन्स्ट दैट स्टार पाथ में स्ट्रक्ट इज दैट now here the difference between these two prototype is here we give the path name of the file and here we give the file descriptor so both represents the same file even if you give a path name it represents the file value and here fd also because every file has one in one file descriptor value which is integer value so any file can be represented either using the path name or using the file descriptor so only different otherwise both it will work in the same fashion now let us see so integer stat const cat star path name struct stat star buffer so it obtains information about the file pointed by the path name it is used to get the information of a file pointed by the path name and it read write or execute permission of the named file is not required read write permission is not required to get the information of the file but all directory listed in the path name leading to the file must be searchable but one condition is there uh, so the file in which all the directory which in which the particular file is this file is there they must be searchable next if is stat so if is stat so obtain the same information about an open file known by the file descriptor fd next integer l is stat const cat star path name and struct is stat star buffer now what all information we can get this is stat this buffer it is of a structure type what is stat structure most mode underscore t st mode it can it uh, file type and mode it stores the information of the file type and mode permission then in ino underscore t st underscore ino i node number then dev underscore t st underscore dev this variable stores the device number then n link underscore t st underscore n link it stores the number of links then uid underscore t st underscore uid it stores user id of owner then gid underscore t st underscore gid it stores the group id then of underscore t st underscore size it stores the size in byte of a file then time underscore t st underscore at last access time it keeps the value keeps the value of the last access time and time underscore t st underscore m time last modified time time underscore t st underscore c time last file status change and long st underscore block size input output block size long st underscore blocks number of blocks allocated so all the uh, information we can retrieve about a file using the if is that is that and l is that api next api is access api so the access function checks the existing the access api function checks the existence and or access permission of user to a named file so it checks the whether a file is existing or not or what all access permission it has read permission write permission execute permission in for example integer access const 